Hello, I'm Patrick Schmidt, a Master of Wine and Editor-in-Chief at The Drinks Business. And today I'm going to talk about one of the most successful brand stories in the world of wine this century, or indeed ever. It's a product with global recognition. It's been the foundation of a new category, and it's been a highly profitable venture. Oh yes, and it's pink. What am I talking about? The Provençal Rosés of Sacha Lachine, the man behind Whispering Angel, and the Rosés of Chateau d'Esclan, which include the top-end barrel-fermented rosé called Garus. The story starts in 2006 when, after six years searching the area, Sacha bought an estate with 74 hectares of neglected Côte de Provence vineyards and a vast house, the Chateau d'Esclan. It should be said that it was bought with some difficulty as the banks didn't want to lend him the money, preferring to back an investment in Bordeaux, the wine region of Sacha's background. He had been owner of Margot's Chateau Priore Lachine, which he inherited on his father's death in 1989. But Sacha was set on Provence. Trigger for his purchase of this property specifically, which is nestled in the Valley d'Esclan, or Valley of the Clans, was an 80-year-old hilltop vineyard planted with Grenache, now the basis of Garus, the world's first barrel-fermented, age-worthy rosé, costing more than £100. Doubtless, it was also the setting, with a view of the mountains and the med from the back of the stunning Tuscan-style chateau, and an incredible avenue of mature plane trees from the front. Then there was the bonus of 200 hectares of forest and parkland. And, even though Sasha would end up replanting 70% of the vineyards, he had fallen in love with the estate. The bigger picture was the creation of a Provençal rosé business, like a champagne brand, and by that I mean a tiered offering built around one wine style with a top-end pinnacle product, akin to a prestige cuvee fizz like Dom Perignon, and a higher volume, more affordable baseline, the equivalent of a brute non-vintage such as Moet Imperial. Helping him was a talented winemaker, not from Provence, but a first growth of Bordeaux, Crafting Sasha's wines from the outset, although sadly and recently deceased, was Patrick Léon, the highly respected former cellar master of Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Launching the range internationally with the Whispering Angel label in the US, Sasha is credited with making Provençal Rosé the trendiest summertime sip in the smart beach resorts of East Coast America. His influence on this area's drinking led to the term Hampton Water for these pale pink drops in this part of the world, above all, of course, the Hamptons. Meanwhile, with his mold-breaking barrel-fermented rosé expressions, particularly Garus, he had created a new subcategory, Pink Fine Wine. Now, 14 years on, Whispering Angel is the world's most recognised pink wine brand and the best-selling rosé in the US. Also, with the recent acquisition of a neighbouring property, the area of Chateau d'Esclan vineyard has almost doubled. And the story doesn't end there. In November last year, the world's biggest luxury drinks group, Mert Hennessy, made an announcement. It was taking a majority stake in Sasha's rosé business. So, in just over a decade, Sasha had created a drinks brand strong enough to attract the eyes of Mert and meet its tough investment criteria. It's only focused on beautifully crafted luxury goods. But, from my perspective, the basis of Sasha's rosé success is this. He's put the fun and the fine into Provençal pink wine. Thank you for listening, and please join me for my next dip video when we'll taste the range, starting with the latest vintage release of Whispering Angel. Mm -hmm.